Hello there, minions! This is Wheezy, and I am playing Battlefield Bad Company 2 on PC. That's right, you heard me. Uh, I, this game is on uh, Game Pass Ultimate and EA Play, so I can jump on and play it, and Bad Company 2, I spent a lot of time playing it on the Xbox 360, and it is completely dead there. I mean, I put my Xbox 360 game in my Series X, and it loaded up all right. Um, like, you can log in and do the single player, but there are no either no servers or just there's no one online, because I'm pretty sure there's just no servers, because this is not a P2P game. Oh, snap. I'm hurting. Uh, <laughs> but, I mean, good lord, on PC, I got a 1440p, and it looks beautiful. I mean, you can obviously tell older textures and it's not quite as lush but oh my god are you kidding me for what a 10 year old game at least like fantastic all right we're going for the flank here man i remember this flanking route but it's also very vulnerable so let's see what we can get away with here bad shots <laughs> oh god Wow. Okay. This rate of fire is, like, insane. And the damage is relatively low, so... Very different kind of playstyle. I'm not sure how that guy's not dead. And there's a smoke grenade now. Oh, snap! Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, tracer darts, man. I Man, I love tracer darts. Especially as an engineer, you can literally hit a helicopter with a tracer dart and then fucking lock on and murderize it. Fantastic. Some interesting things about this game. You cannot go prone in order to avoid camping of the bushwookies. This is where the bushwookies come from. Um, grenade! Come on! Uh, you cannot go prone. You can only crouch. Also, ADS is a toggle instead of a hold to ADS. Uh, there, the melee is what, middle mouse button? <laughs> I mean, I know you can remap a lot of this stuff, but the controls are a little bit different from Battlefield 4, which I've been playing a little bit on PC recently, so. Did that guy just smoke himself? I don't know what happened. <laughs> there was a guy there, and now there's not. Oh God. I, I'm still getting the muscle memory down for being able to crouch using my little pinky on the left control. Like, I remember doing that back in the day, but... Man, I need to... I definitely need to rebuild the muscle memory because... That is not a typical thing. I mean, as opposed to with the controller, just literally everything that you do is in your hands. This, there's a lot of reaching and a lot of... A lot of, like... Like I said, muscle memory. You just have to pretty much, like, train yourself where to reach if you need to do things without looking. I feel like, I feel like I'm learning to type. Also, the click to toggle ADS is still a little strange. Oh god, how am I alive? Am I in a cactus? I'm in a cactus. If this were Minecraft, I'd be so dead right now. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm alive. That's a thing. We're playing Rush. Oh. I saw a guy. Where'd you go? Okay. This is... This is getting spicy. Can I frag that? Okay. And see if I can move around and flank this. Or if they're gonna know that I'm here. The double tap to sprint. A little clumsy. Shot that guy in the feet. Oh god. <laughs> Just jumping while I'm reloading. I couldn't switch to my uh, tracer dart. <laughs> I can't remember, does Tracer Dart do damage to people? Uh, I don't need the Tracer Dart, honestly, on my assault kit. 
Uh, if there were more guys in Engineer, I could do that, but... You know, let's just go ahead and jump dry to a different weapon. So I've been playing in these servers that are, like, fast XP, which is nice, because even though, like I said, I played a ton of this on Xbox 360, this was long before crossplay was a thing, and so none of my unlocks are on this account. Oh god. Oh. So it was nice to find a server here, like, somehow it's, like, labeled as an official EA server. But it gives you, like, a thousand experience per kill, so you just get ten kills and you're, like, fully ranked up. Which is... which is nice. I got all these unlocks back. Battlefield 4, Battlefield 3 do not have that, so even though I played literally hundreds of hours of those games... I don't have any unlocks on PC for that stuff, so I'm, like, starting from scratch. They got this place pretty goddamn locked down. We lost! We lost hard! We have too many bushwookies sitting back. That was an issue in Bad Company 2 for a while. Well, the entire life of the game, I, I should say. Where snipers, like, the way the games would set up, sometimes your entire team would basically just slowly switch to snipers and sit at the back of the map, and then you would always lose! But they just got tired of dying, I guess. Alright, let's jump into one more here. Uh, what should I, you know what I haven't played? I haven't played Medic. Now, the, the kits in this game are very interesting. Versus other games. Med kit. Uh, augment that. No. Let's stay alive. Added accuracy. Improved heal times. No. Let's do... Let's do this. So, Medic has the LMG, which is interesting. So, what's my defib? The defib is three... Another thing I gotta get used to, used to is weapon swapping with numbers. Is this? Oh god, an artillery strike. Oh yeah, if they bring the building down, that'll destroy the MCOM too, so... That was, an, that was a cool thing on this game, but it also made Rush to where sometimes people with RPGs could just sit back and win the objectives. Easy mode. Oh god, there's no reload cancel. I can't see through this incredibly bright light! Oh my. Okay. Oh god, don't, don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Don't shoot me. Yes! I'm a hero! Get a grenade. Is that a... No, that's not an enemy. What the hell? Artillery. Holy shit. Good god. Woo! Oh, wait, was that a grenade launcher that killed me? Oh. Yeah, they're trying to bring the building down. This is one of those things where putting, you know, the object... The simple solution to the bringing buildings down on objectives problem is don't put objectives inside buildings. But some of them aren't. Like, here's a good example is one is, one isn't in this map. Let's try this ump special edition. See what that'll do. What do we got, teamies? Are you guys in a decent position here at all? Oh, is there a guy right there? That's a friendly. Good flanking routes in this game. I just, I just remember this game just being so much fun. All the destructibility, and, and I remember every game after this, Battlefield Three, Battlefield Four, like just the fact that they took a step back from this level of destructibility was always disappointing. Because this was just, you could literally, everything you could see, you could destroy. And that was, this was like, peak battlefield destructibility. Although obviously the controls and some of the, like, kit systems I think are better now than they were then. I think as of right now, Battlefield 4 is still 
by a fair margin, my favorite Battlefield. Probably close. Maybe not by a fair margin. Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4, in my mind, are actually very mostly interchangeable. Um, which is not a bad thing. They just were very similar. They kind of found what worked. And then after that, when they went back to Battlefield 1, it was just kind of like, why? <laughs> like, you guys were finally getting it. Like, you figured it out. They just decided, I don't know, we've got to, we've got to completely change time periods. Alright, let's see. Can I... Can I tracer dart you? Oh god. I used to be really good at tracer darting helicopters. Where are you at? Did you jump out? God, there's so much going on. Alright. Nope, oh, gotta crouch. Man. My hands feel very <laughs> retarded <laughs> on a keyboard and mouse sometimes, especially when I'm like trying to grenade, weapon swap, all that stuff. Oh, someone died here. That's not good. Hey, that time we won! Not a ton of action. These rush games are going fast, but, uh, well, I say not a ton of action. There was a ton of action. But yeah, so that is some Battlefield Bad Company 2 in 2021. Can you believe such a thing has transpired or occurred? Man, I only went 4 and 3. That was not, that was not beautiful, but hey, what are you going to do? So, uh, yeah, you guys, uh, you guys enjoyed a little bit of Old School Bad Company 2? Uh, leave me a like if you guys don't like Old School Battlefield. I mean, I don't know what to say. Leave me a dislike, I guess, but I'm not sure we can be friends after this. But we can be minions, which is to say if you subscribe, you'll become a minion. I love you, and I will talk to you later. Goodbye.